we're all here. Right. Um, we live in dark times and the light of love needs to shine very, very bright indeed if we are to stand a chance. And we do stand a chance and we will do this. This meditation or reflection uh, will only take five to ten minutes. You do not need to close eyes. In fact, it's best if you don't close your eyes. It stops you going off uh, into the sunset. Um, and so what I'm going to ask you is, uh, I will be putting up a map. We're, we're going to focus on the UK. And uh, in the UK, there are, at this moment in time, there are nine people. There's one in five. There is one in Preston. There's another one not far from there. I can't think what it's called right now. I will show you the map. Uh, then there's another in uh, near um, Birmingham, so Birmingham, Nottingham area. Then there is in northeast London, there is another three. And then at the bottom near Exeter, there's another two. So the, in total, there is six women and three men. So there's a man in five, um, two women uh, in the north area, northern area of the UK. Then there's another woman uh, near Birmingham. Then there's another two women at the bottom near Exeter. And then there are two men and one woman in North East London. So what I'm going to ask of, of us is to bear that in mind. And to begin with, just focus into yourself. Be aware of your body as you sit here. You don't have to do anything fancy. Just sit here and be aware of your body, be aware of your feet, your shoulders, make sure you're relaxed. And then I want you to focus into your heart area as a, as a physical thing, as a physical sensation. Just be aware of that part of your body. And as you do that, so you're aware of your body, you are aware of emotions in the background perhaps, uh, hopefully they're nice and calm at the moment and you're uh, focused on the physical heart your mind as you're getting visualized it should be fairly quiet and within your heart there is a physical sensation but if you go into that there is a bit like a mist there's a quality there's a quality which when you connect with it will bring a little bit of a smile to the corners of your lips and a twinkle to your eyes. Nothing fancy, just that little hint. When you get that, you know you're there. And so this is a feeling. And it's not necessarily a feeling of anything, but it's still a feeling. And it's a feeling, if we want to give it a word, of self. So when you say, well, who are you? Who do you identify with? Then what I want you to focus on is to identify with the feeling of self, which is within the heart area. Anything else doesn't count. The feeling of self emanates within the heart area. And it is a very, as I say, it's like a mist. So I'm talking, so I'm not as focused on it at the moment, but it's, it's like a mist. And once you have this quality in there, I want you to spread it. So it spreads beyond you, but now instead of a mist, see it like sunlight. So allow the sunlight to spread beyond your body, to your surrounding, to your home, to your village or town around you. And be aware that all these places are filled with people who are in pain, suffering. I don't want you to do anything except to just be in touch with your sense of self and your little smile in the corner of your eyes and your lips as you incorporate an awareness of those people out there who are in pain and suffering, not always obviously. Suffering could be mental, emotional, physical. 
and don't dwell on it. Just be aware of that. And now I want you to stretch your mind and I want you to see yourself like you're going to be holding hands. So we're in five. So we'll be holding hands with the person in five. You don't need to know who it is. And then stretch down to the two women in the north of uh, the UK, Preston and the other place, whatever it's called. And there's another one further down. So see them holding hands with each other. And then from Birmingham, go all the way down to Exeter and see those two women also holding hands with the others. And from there, go to London, hold hands with the other woman and then the two men holding hands. And then you can hold hands, take your pick. If you feel more comfortable holding hands between the men, then join us. If you want to be holding hands with the women, Go the other way. It doesn't matter. There is no, there's no way of doing this. There's no right or wrong way. Just as long as you end up with a sensation of holding hands, be aware kinesthetically of your hands as you hold hands and the group. So all of us are holding hands together and we bring the whole of the UK into one. And with that, we simply stay in touch with our sense of self, with a smile, with this feeling, this loving sensation of inclusivity, where we're all one, we're all generating the same vibration in concert. And within that, within that circle is the whole of the UK, all 67 million people of us. And be aware that these are people in pain, people who are suffering, people who are confused. And that light, remember I mentioned the light at the beginning, just see that sunlight touching each and every person in this country with our smile. And I want you to imagine that this is, if you're not doing it at 7 a.m., imagine that this is 7 a.m. in the morning. So we're linking to other people who will be doing this at 7 a.m. But with our imaginations, time is irrelevant. It doesn't matter what time you do it. And just make this connection. And keep relaxing your body, it's very easy to get tense. Shoulders. So as I said, we don't have to do it for long and you can stay here as long as you like. But it's the connection, however fleetingly, that matters. And regularity makes for practice and experience and ability. And the more you visualize, the more you will develop your mind, the more you connect with your heart, the more you will be present in your heart throughout your day. Having said that, you may well find at different times of the day when you make that spontaneous connection. Is it for a second? 
Is it for five seconds? It doesn't matter. The connection is everything. The more we make the connection, the more we strengthen the bond, the more the vibrational energy will begin to vibrate stronger and stronger and begin to infuse other people. Please share this with everyone, far and wide. The more of us, the more powerful we will become. The end goal is to alter present reality. We want to change reality from fear to love and everything that comes with it. All the best. Don't switch it off. Hmm? Don't switch it off. Okay. This is where the power is. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. Yes, go on then. <laughs> Sorry, it's, we're back. Yeah, it's because as we just said, yeah. do you know, it's how will we then discuss that that makes it. Yeah. I don't know about you. For me, the table, the brightness of the table just yeah. got incredible yeah. then. And I literally, I literally, things were dissolving in front of me. Mm. Mm. Uh, I was almost seeing through mm. the furniture. Mm. Um, it was extraordinary. Mm. But the brightness, the light mm. oh. of the table, as soon as we started, mm. was amazing. He's a bit psychic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. He is. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> no, no, that's good. That's quite sad. I don't know. What did you? What did no, you for me, it? for me, it was the physicality. When you said go into your heart, I literally was in my heart, and I, my whole body was starting to find the rhythm of my heart, sense my heart, as if I was my heart, in, entirely my heart. The whole organ, but not the physicality of that manifesting like a like like a tuning fork, mm. and trying to just uh, be that, whatever that gives off. But because yeah. we are, because as we discussed earlier, mm. when you bring a room full of tuning forks together and you set one going, all of the others will harmonize they to will. that one, they will. and we are all vibrational energy. Yeah. We can't not respond to each that's other. That's right, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah. It only takes one person in a crowd to say, hey guys, let, let's not do it that way. How about doing it this way? To stop everybody for a moment, to take them out of their, their busyness for a moment, to maybe get them to re-look again and think, yeah, maybe, maybe we could try speak it this a bit way. Louder. Maybe we could try it this way. Uh, we've all experienced yeah. when someone walks into a room and we've said yeah. they light up the room. That's right. That's right. That's right. It's true. And that's the language that we use. Yeah, that's right. And people do. Yeah. And they don't do that yeah. by jumping around and waving at people. No. They do that by being themselves and what they carry with themselves. That's right. <laughs> it's so yeah. true. It's true. And you don't, you don't, uh, you don't have to read that in books. Or watch it on the telly. You just you experience it. And when when someone says or uses that expression, you think everybody knows exactly what you mean. Yeah. And so <laughs> if everything outside of us is a reflection of everything that's inside of us, yeah. When you experience that and you will, uh -huh. imagine what part of you is it that's reflecting in that way. Yeah. yeah. That is lighting up that room because that's the part of you you want to grow. For, for me. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay. Yeah. yeah. If there was a yeah, it's like um, if there was a methodology, if there was a button to press, yeah, let's press that button. Let's keep our finger on that button. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's it's it's. Oh yeah. And the more we can become aware of that, that's fascinating. The word you use then, yes, so that's because right. I told you what I did in the car on the way here, what I tried to focus on, what I wanted to. to to bring to this, uh -huh. and I used almost exactly the same words uh -huh. of Which words connecting, connecting to whatever it is I'm connecting to, and that every time I do it, the pipe gets wider and the connection gets stronger. That's right. Yeah, that's exactly the thought I was having this yeah. morning. Yeah, and you you finished your conversation by saying that by saying the practice, the practice uh, enables that to continue to practice. The pra not that the practice makes perfect, but certainly practicing is important because mm. that strengthens that enhances 
just in the same way that doing doing physical exercise does. Muscle, muscles get muscles strengthened, get strengthened. With, with exercise yeah. and the atrophy when we don't use them. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. I mean, that's really important. Connecting with our hearts, mm. feeling that most people do not have a sense of self. Mm. They don't know who they are. Mm. Who we are is not the emotions, is not our thoughts, is not our physical body. All of that is part of who we are, mm. but we are something so much greater. Mm. And the only place where we will find ourselves is in our hearts, mm. is in our feelings. Mm. It is through that sensation and that feeling of self, the taste, it's a taste. Who am I? You know, we spend a lifetime asking other people, tell me about me, because mm. we have no idea who we are. Mm. But who we are cannot be psychologically mm. discovered. Who we are is a feeling. Mm. And when we are in that feeling, we are spontaneous, mm. we are natural, mm. there is there's no se second something. We are, mm. you know, it's like, what it says on the tin is who we are. Mm. We are that person. There's, you know, there's no subterfuge, there's nothing. Mm. We are that person. Yeah. Yeah. And other people will recognize that. That's when things. we light up the room. That's right. Right. That's right. That's, right. That's exactly yeah. when it happens. That's right. right. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Those are the people that do that. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> right, so anyway. So, so it's going to get easier. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the more you and play, so yeah. the more of us mm. who come from our hearts, yeah. who connect in the world from our hearts, we're spreading a vibrational energy that uplifts. Yeah, you know they talk about uh, all uh, the the uh, the tide or the waves lift all boats. Yes. But the opposite is also true. The lack of water sinks of all boats. Mm. Yeah. So we want to lift all boats with our love, mm. with our feeling. We want to do this for mankind, for the group. At the moment, there's very little water. You know, we're on dry ground. We're sort of stuck at the bottom. And a lot of the bottom is actually very boggy. <laughs> so we need to change that and this is how we do it there's no other way this is how we do it we have to deliberately connect with our hearts connect with our sense of self and beneath you know begin to feel this begin to generate this vibration on a daily and ongoing basis yeah okay um, perhaps i shouldn't be saying this now it's premature but gratitude the feeling of gratitude for who we are for our lives for what we have it doesn't matter how shitty you think your life is at the moment mm. there is always something to be grateful for if you feel grateful for what you have you will have more of what you have if if you feel shitty for what's in your life you'll get more shit in your life <laughs> yeah so the 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 generating of gratitude for what we have yeah. is a wonderful energy yeah. to generate on an ongoing basis in ourselves gratitude for our lives yeah. develop love yeah. appreciation for your family yeah. the closest ones to you and then begin to work on the ones you're not so keen on so begin begin, <laughs> begin with the easy ones yeah. and work your way outwards yeah, there's always people out there we can have problems with if we choose to go that direction. Mm -hmm. But focus on gratitude, focus on appreciation for those nearest and dearest to you, mm -hmm. and begin to practice something that we seldom ever do, mm -hmm. which is to really give. We live in a world of taking. Everybody's taking. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a world of vampires. Everybody's taking. 
And then, my God, you wouldn't want to live in London. <laughs> Sorry, Vicky. Gratitude's <laughs> <laughs> like a smile, isn't it? You know, a smile costs nothing, and yet, what happens when someone smiles at you? Yeah. What do you have to do? You have to smile, smile back. back. Yeah. It spreads by osmosis. Yeah. It does. And gratitude is exactly the same. Yeah. It does. Yeah. yeah, I agree. And if we can bring just that little thing into someone's life mm -hmm. on a daily basis by smelling at them, because when they the smile, world, yeah. their psychology changes. Mm -hmm. That's a great thing to do on yeah, its own. That's true. Yeah. That's true. I was walking the dog the other day and across the river there was a lady sat on her patio and we don't know one another and she waved as if we knew each other. And I thought maybe yeah, there was a connection with the walking the dog just, but I didn't recognise her and I, and I just found myself going, hi. <laughs> and, and I thought and I it felt great. It felt great. So, felt the, so the opposite of this, which I've experienced, <laughs> is someone waves to me and now I'm thinking, Suspiciously, what's he after? <laughs> what's he after? <laughs> Listen, you, you said you said earlier about training and, and your, your yeah. understanding of the Taoists, and I think when just just to be clear for me in my head, I, and I, I like to use the, I like to, to, to use this quote because you know uh, we really do we whatever we think, whatever we say, will always reflect back the world that we want to live in. That's what we're saying. That's what we're thinking. And I, and, I, and I said to a woman at the car boot on Sunday, I said, well, remember, she was talking about her husband and the, and, and, uh, the, the friction there on an on a agreement or disagreement about artwork. Or what, you know, the, that was the context. And I said, well, remember that, you know, the man who says yes and the man who says no are both correct. Mm. How does that work? Well, the, the, if you if you think about it in its entirety, or, or, or certainly as far as you, as far as you can stretch the limits of that understanding, the man who says yes, and both the man who says no, they're both correct. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to put it, it's not what you think it is. Yeah, it's only what you think it is. <laughs> <laughs> they're doing my head in this too. <laughs> I know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I think I kicked the dog back. Well, I, 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 I think we'll, we'll sort of uh, we'll wrap it up. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, they're here for that med little meditation, and you know, we've got this whole huge podcast behind it. <laughs> All right.